Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our anti-lag in our two new studio software. So when we have a Megasquirt 3 application, we have the ability to run anti-lag. Now anti-lag is going to be used on a turbocharged engine to build boost, whether it's going to be off the line or if we're on a road course or a hill climb or a rally course, we can use it to help us have boost when we lift throttle. There's going to be a whole bunch of ways we can implement this. I'm going to be walking you through both strategies in the video so you know how to properly program it when you're working with your Megasquirt 3 application. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. All right, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our turbo anti-lag in our Megascore 3 firmware. So the first thing we're gonna do, jump into Boost, and we're gonna move down here to Turbo Anti-Lag. Now this is gonna be where we do all of our programming and setup for our turbo anti-lag. We can implement this turbo anti-lag in two different methods. We have a drag race method, and we have a rally or a road race method where we're gonna lift throttle mid-corner, we can build boost. On the drag race method, we're gonna be using it to stage the vehicle, to build boost off the line, to launch. So we have to go about programming it in two completely different manners. So let's take a look at our drag race anti-lag first, and then we can walk through uh, taking a look at using it for a rally or road race application on a turbo engine. So the first thing we're gonna do here to the anti-lag enable input, we're gonna be choosing the input that we're going to be uh, setting this up on. Now I'm just gonna choose just any input here, so I'll say analog input one. Now you can have it on a switch, but we need to make sure we turn this off when we launch. So we're not able to just have this on a basic on-off toggle switch. We need to set this up from an output from the Mega Squirt here. So we're actually gonna jump into engine and we're gonna go in here to on-off outputs. We're gonna be selecting an output that we wanna wire from our output into this input pin. So we're simply gonna ground this output and it's gonna be turning on this input to arm the anti-lag to work. And that's gonna be how we have to do it based on what we have available here for programming um, to make this work on a turbo engine for drag racing. So we're gonna be selecting an output here. Let's just say I select PWM output three. Let's go here, we'll click enable. We're gonna have our power on value off or active value on. So that's gonna be saying when we turn on the mega squirt, this output's gonna be set in the off state. And then when we activate it based on the conditions here, it's gonna be turning on, it's gonna be grounding this output and then it's going to be or sending a ground from the output here and then grounding this pin to turn this feature on. So we're gonna have to jump into the out active conditions here we're gonna move down our list and jump into vehicle speed. We're gonna go into vehicle speed one. That should be our primary vehicle speed source. We've talked about this in some other videos. We set up our vehicle speed so we should understand how that's gonna work right now. So assuming we have our vehicle speed one calibrated and working, we're gonna then set our thresholds here. So we're gonna say our vehicle speed is going to be, in this situation, less than four miles per hour or three miles per hour. So when we're not moving, and we're, when we're below this mile per hour threshold, this pin will be active, the turbo and 